What's going on YouTube? This is your boy DJ Creative and this is my opinion on microphones in 2023. So I just made a video on keyboards and the consensus I made for budget keyboards was that I would go with a specific brand, in particular Red Dragon, because I really hadn't like tried a lot of keyboards to tell you for sure if they were good or deemed, you know, good enough. Um, however, I do consider myself an expert on microphones. And I haven't tried every microphone in the world, but unlike keyboards, I've tried enough of them and spent a fair bit of money on them to develop my opinion, which probably will shock you. I'll cut to the chase. I think all you need for a good sounding audio is a $30 USB microphone. Let me explain. So the first microphone that I can remember thinking about was on my PS4, I used a USB rock band microphone. It was literally a dynamic microphone, I think. It was in the style of one, and I'll show you the difference between a uh, dynamic and condenser microphone here. All right, so this is the difference between a dynamic and a condenser microphone. So this would be a, a classic example of a dynamic microphone. You've seen these on Joe Rogan. This is the Shure SM7B. This is, you know, one of the most famous podcasting microphones. And from what I've heard, they used to use them back in the day in the studio. Not as much today, I don't think. I think Michael Jackson used this one for... But so anything that looks like, you know, uh, looks like a DJ would use, you know, some to make announcements and stuff. So these microphones are good for rejecting. So like the sound, let's just imagine there's a person here. You can see my mouse and they're talking into it. It's going to reject all the noise from the outside. It's built for like stage work. And these ones in particular are built to be handheld. They have like, I think they have like anti-vibration stuff in there. Anyways, this is a condenser microphone. Um, an XLR one in particular. I'll touch on that later. This is the one that I have. I have a Rode NT one. Did not was not this cheap when I bought it. However, um, yeah, this is what you'll see. You know, if you see like someone in a vocal booth, a singer or something, they're probably going to be singing on one of these. Going back to the rock band microphone. Honestly, like for gaming. You know, like most like most games I play are like first person shooters, like Call of Duty. And it's so cha chaotic and there's so much noise and so, like as long as your microphone isn't just complete poop, like it's gonna be okay. So if you're a person thinking, oh, should I spend like lots of money on a microphone? No, like the 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 purpose of the tool is to be able to hear your voice and. <laughs> The rock band microphone might have been good enough. I, I don't know. Um, so the history of my microphone. So I, after that, I wanted a function. I wanted a XLR microphone. But at the time, I couldn't figure out a way to get it into the, the... I couldn't find a way to get that input into a PS4. Later, I found out a way using a mixer. And then I found a little USB advice. But... I found this microphone called a Talent USB microphone, and it had a function that I wanted, which was uh, zero latency uh, playback. Which means when you, so like a musician or a podcaster like Joe Rogan, when they're talking in their microphone, they can hear their voice in their headphones in real time with no latency. And I wanted that feature because at the time I had. Ironically, the same headphones that Joe Rogan had, the HD 280s Sennheiser, and those ones, like, literally are like earmuffs. I mean, and when I was gaming, I just remember, I, like, I literally felt like I was, like, honking like, like, I, th there's a term for it, but when you cover your ears or plug your ears and try to talk to people, you eventually kind of get scared, and you start talking like a deaf person, no offense, but, um... So it's bugging the hell of me. So I thought, all right, I got to get this uh, zero latency feature. So I got this microphone, a Talent USB microphone from Parts Express for 50 bucks. Here it is. Here's the microphone I got. It's down to 30 bucks. Great deal, by the way. And I've, in fact, I was going to recommend a different microphone, but since this is available for 30 bucks and not 50, like when I bought it, 
this is actually going to be my recommendation, but the first thing I noticed when I pulled this thing out of the, out of the case, I was expecting this this little like cheap, you know, like I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Dude, it's a hunk of metal. Like, I don't know if I'm old school or if I'm just like my ape brain. Like when I hold something, a product, and it's like heavy, like it just feels like quality. And like the buttons were smooth and like there's a mute, I don't know if you could see there's a mute button and then there's also a way to adjust how much of the sound you hear and how much your voice you hear. And you can click the volume to mute it and then you click your head, or you plug your headphones in this little port here. Great little microphone. Dude, that is, I'm telling you, you can spend thousands of dollars on microphones. And this, this is where, this is the hill I'm willing to die on. And a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, yeah, you know, audiophiles and all that. Dude, you can't tell the difference. I'm serious. Like, and even if you're in a soundproof booth with these microphones, I'm talking a 5% difference at max. I swear it at the end of the day, there's, there's this little, the way that the, I'm not sure exactly how they work, but there's this little like circle in there. It looks like a little quarter. Like they have that in these little $30 USB microphones, the same one that's in my road, same one that's in the thousand dollar plus microphones, the XLR versions. Um, this is all you need. This is basically the point of the video. Um, I will die on this hill. I wish I knew this. Uh, I've since bought a Rode NT1. I think it was like 350 plus when I bought it. And then for an XLR microphone, you have to buy an audio interface, which is the way that it, it converts the signal and puts it into your computer. Um, you have to buy the cord for the XLR. You know, if you want to have that absolute guarantee you have the best sound, do not buy more than the Rode NT1. I mean, 250, you get a shock, a sh shock mount, you get a pop screen, and it's just, it's a great little microphone. Um, I'm currently recording on it because I have it, I want to use it, but I, if I were to plug in this little talent microphone, you would not be able to tell the difference, and I stand by that. Uh, the audio interface I'm using is a Motu M2. I like that because it had a nice little LCD um, display showing the uh, levels. See, it's got the little fancy audio levels. I like that. Um, again, 200 bucks. So what? What? That's 350 plus 200, 550. When all you need is this guy, or you know, if you're a gamer, one of these. I think that. For gaming, they figured it out. The headset is the way to go. I know every streamer you're gonna see is gonna have a Shure SM7B or some sort of microphone, you know, external from the headset. They're gonna be talking into it. In my experience, and I want to use my good microphone for gaming and every day, you know, it's the best microphone I have, but it's so inconvenient. It's always in the way I feel like it's just, it's just, even if you get it out of, out of the screen's way, it's just hovering around you. You're always hitting it, bumping it. It's, it could pick up the keyboard noises, you know, if you don't have your settings right. Um, I think for gaming, the headset is really the way to go. With that being said, for headsets, I have two recommendations. Um, Sennheiser, which is a tried and true brand in the audiophile industry made these uh, when I got them they were called the uh, gaming zeros or gaming ones I forget these are open back headphones and the microphone quality in my opinion is really good um, that's but these are wired so if you want a wired I would go with that that's my recommendation for wireless I hate to give this answer it's kind of the same as a keyboard again I haven't heard too many of these but I've heard enough people say HyperX the brand HyperX for wireless headphones um, to think that pretty much anything they make is going to be good. This is on the low end. This is a little $65 one. Might be able to catch it on sale for like $50 or $40. Um, but they go as high as, you know, $200 on the high end. But for wireless, and again, if you're a serious gamer, I don't know if they've ever fixed the 
latency issues if they've ever had them if they if it's good enough i don't know wrong person to ask in my opinion i would just do wired it's not that big of a deal it's but if you have to go wireless i would i would go hyperx so one thing i'll notice i'll mention about the gaming headsets these microphones are going to it's gonna be different from brand to brand but a lot of times like they're designed in a way that tries to cut off like picking things up like your breath or certain frequencies like it's really designed for gaming so again nothing beats the headset for gaming like um i think nick Merckx was the last i think he since upgraded to a new microphone but he was the last big streamer that i've seen using a headset but dude I mean, unless you can find a way to make it work, I, I haven't. The boom arm, I hate them. They're bulky. It's always in the way. They look cool, and they have cool microphones to come with them. That's about it, in my opinion. So, um, and that's why I recommend this headset in particular, because the microphone, a lot of these gaming microphones, like, like you remember, remember I mentioned the Rock Band microphone was good enough? Sometimes with certain gaming headsets, like I'll play CS, and there'll be a guy like, like, how do you have that bad of a headset in 2023? So, I don't know. Spend the money. These, the actual audio drivers for the headphones. This is open back, which means you put them on, you won't hear a difference in the room. Like it won't. People, and if you turn them up loud enough, people will be able to hear your stuff. So that is a drawback. They do make a closed back version, which is called. A game one or game zero I forget but you can figure it out um, and actually going back to what I said about the muffled sound I turn it turns out all you need is an open back headphone that solves the problem that way it's just like talking just just like right now I have I literally have these headphones on right now and I can hear my voice just fine okay just for reference before I found out that this microphone was down to 30 and again, they're probably the same thing. It's literally... See that little circle in there? They, I swear they all come from the same freaking factory. I cannot hear a difference. Um, this is the microphone. If I had to do it all over again, I would literally just buy one of these cheap USB microphones. 30 bucks and you get crystal clear sound. My nephew just got um, a USB microphone from Walmart. They're on brand, O-N-N. Again, same nice, heavy quality, crystal clear sound. Um, the one thing I will say about these microphones is, again, not the best application for gaming because they're they're meant for like whisper. They're they're so clear. Like <laughs> my buddy, we, he had he used to have like a one of these microphones, and we could literally hear the person mowing the lawn two houses down we're like are you is someone mowing the lawn in your room like so you got to be careful you don't want to turn up too loud and you don't want to have it in a noisy situation you're going to hear fan noise um it's fine for like a quiet situation like this like i'm not in a soundproof booth but it's fine for this application no pun intended huh fine um but yeah that's my rant about microphones very passionate about it um if you guys have any questions or comments leave them in the leave them in the comment section drop a like and i'll see you next time